Another big story that we're following right now. A judge is allowing all of the lawyers representing former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby in her criminal case to withdraw. And that major decision means the case will likely be delayed again, and Mosby is now represented by the public defender. Prosecutors objected to the replacement of the defense attorneys just months before the high profile trial is set to begin in March. WJC investigator Mike Helgren is live downtown with more on that decision, including what Mosby herself had to say about it. Mike. Vic Denise, she usually doesn't speak in court. She did today in this criminal case. Now, the judge asked her repeatedly if she was okay with her defense attorneys leaving the case, quitting the case. She said she was. She believes there's a conflict of interest. She also says she's fine with public defender James Wyda taking over. A judge will allow all six of former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby's defense attorneys to withdraw from her criminal case, <laughs> finding Mosby, who made more than $200,000 a year, indigent, and appointing the federal public defender to represent her. Mosby, who's rarely spoken in court, told the judge, I would like this case to go as quickly as possible so I can resume my life. She later said, I want to rebuild my life, but I do understand new counsel would have to get up to speed in the case. Her March 27th perjury and fraud trial will likely be delayed again. <laughs> the lawyer's withdrawals stem from the possible criminal contempt charges facing her former lead defense attorney, A. Scott Bolden, for his conduct, including cursing on the courthouse steps. If I could curse, I'd tell you it was all right? If I could curse, I'd tell you that it was hilarious, except her life is at stake. He since apologized, but argued he needs to focus on his own defense instead of Mosby's, and the other lawyers at his firm working on the case face a conflict because of that. Bolden's been an outspoken advocate for Mosby. I've said she's innocent. I'm saying the charges are false, and we're going to prove her innocence. Federal prosecutors say Mosby's defense team is too large, and they objected to all but Bolden leaving the case, saying it's already been pushed back too many times. Mosby is facing prison time for allegations she lied to get a COVID hardship withdrawal from her retirement account and provided false information on mortgage applications for two Florida vacation properties to get lower interest rates. She's repeatedly maintained her innocence. I will fight these charges with everything I have in me and I will be victorious. While Judge Lydia Grigsby will allow Mosby new counsel, she acknowledged a delay is certainly not something this judge welcomes. So there's a hearing one week from today before Judge Grigsby, and they will hash out what happens next and if there will be a pushback of that March trial date. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.